there's two different types of geometry. There's electron domain and molecular geometry. Um, here it's asking for molecular geometry. Okay. So that one would be tetrahedral. Then. Yep. Yeah, because it's four bond, four domains and all bonds. So you look at how many domains there are, mm -hmm. and then how many are bonding versus lone pairs. So all of these have four domains because there's four, all four sides are being occupied. But these are bonds, these are three bonds, one lone pair, two bonds, two lone pairs. And so that changes what shape it actually will form. Okay, so when you say domain, are you talking about um, like each? Domain? Yeah, by domain, like N, each side is a domain. Okay. And so there's four possible domains, and no matter what, if it's a triple bond right there, that's still just one domain. Mm -hmm. Or if it's like a single bond right here, a single bond right there, and a lone pair, three domains are being occupied that by two bonding and one lone pair. Mm -hmm. And so just depending on how many domains and what's, what domains they are will tell you what geometry you're oh. looking at. So and then it's kind of just memorizing, just matching, but it's not too bad. Okay. A couple. So let's see, that one has three domains. Yep. So that'll be trigonal. One of those. Trigonal planar. Yep. Because they're all bonds. So the difference between trigonal planar or bent. It's just, so all the bent ones will be, enough. like, they'll look linear, right? Yeah. And then just judging by, like, how many electrons. Yeah, you can't really tell just looking at the Lewis structure. Because um, you have to matter, lone pairs don't actually occupy, like, when you look at this, what is this, I don't know, ball and stick or whatever. Uh, lone pairs won't show up. Um, but they'll, they're there, and they push these two oxygens down because mm -hmm. they occupy that space. So that's what makes it bent. Okay. So that one was or another, yeah. That, yeah. Um, so that one should be a bent. Oh, just on here then. Yep. Uh, okay, so that one should be. So there's three domains. Four domains. Oh, yeah, I forgot the electrons count. Okay, four domains. Would that be tetrahedral? Try it, or no, this one. Yep. Or, yeah, trigonal. Uh, that should be trigonal pyramidal. Oh. They call it also triangular pyramid. Okay. So, isn't this just saying like whenever you have electrons attached to like the middle thing, they'll be as far away from each other as mm -hmm. possible? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the Vesper theory is just everything must be as far away as possible. Okay. So, that 